Hi, in this CovCath computer programming video, I am going to show you how to uh, build or compile and to execute files and or projects. So as you see right here, I have this project called Tutorials, or I'm sorry, we have the project called Tutorials, and I have a file inside of it called Tutorials. And this is a simple program. It's just going to do a system.out.println line and say hello world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to project up here. I'm sorry, I want to go to build up here. And I can either actually, in this case, I can compile project, compile file, or compile workspace. Because all of these things, I only have one file in this whole thing anyway. Later on, you might have multiple files in here. Compile file becomes a little bit handy for you. So I can hit compile file right now, and you're going to see down here, it's going to tell me the process is complete. I don't have any errors in this program. So if that's the case, I can come up here and I can either say execute the project or execute the file. Either one's going to work fine. Notice if I do execute project, F5 works, so you can use the F5 on your keyboard. When I do that, down here in this general output window, it's going to output hello world. Now maybe you would like to have a little more space. If you grab this little window right here and we pull it up here, you can actually resize this window a little bit and you can see the program that runs. So what I'll do is I'll close this, I'll hit the X. So there's my build output down here at the bottom. I'm going to go up here, back up the build again, and I'm going to go ahead and say execute the project. Now it's going to open in the very last place that I left it. There it is. It says hello world. Process is complete. Now, let's say there's an error. Maybe I don't have a semicolon right there. If I come up here and I hit build and I hit compile file, it's going to compile the file. It also saves it automatically for you. And it's going to pop up these little error reports for you. So if you look right here, it tells you it's in the tutorials.java. So this is the very first error right here, and it tells you, if I click on it, it says error semicolon expected. So if I double click right there, it shows you that's where it's expecting the error. I'm expecting a, a semicolon right there. And then if I go ahead and I close this, I come back up here to build and say compile, I'm going to get my process complete again. Maybe I've left a letter out. Maybe I accidentally left the Y out of there. If I say build and compile file, I'm going to get an error. Again, it's going to tell me package SSTM TEM does not exist. It has no idea what that means. There is no such package. If I double click on it, it takes me that line. I look in there and I put in my Y and I'm good to go and it should take care of that. So that's how you guys compile. Um, and again, I'll come back up here. We'll do build, compile the file. Everything is great. I'll come back up here to build and we'll execute the file and it's going to run in, that, in my window for me there. Hello world, process is complete. So it means the program's done running. Hope you found this helpful.